right, welcome back live, everybody. A lot of movers and shakers may be breathing a secret sigh of relief this week over the suicide of the notorious D.C. madam who hung herself on Friday. Or did she? Help me! Help me, please! What's going on there? You think what, ma'am? Please, 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 please. Deborah Palfrey's ailing 76-year-old mother found the D.C. madam hanging in a shed attached to mom's Florida mobile home, an apparent suicide. But prior statements made by the convicted prostitution ring leader herself have the internet and the airwaves buzzing with conspiracy theories. Police say she did kill herself, and she left behind at least two handwritten suicide notes. She was facing as much as 55 years in prison for her conviction in April but was more likely to get closer to 71 months behind bars. And Palfrey has contemplated suicide before. When she served time in prison for pimping 16 years ago, she told the judge then that the prospect of being locked up caused her to contemplate suicide, saying, quote, I wouldn't eat for the first two weeks in custody, and seriously considered suicide by starvation as a viable option. And more recently, according to Washington writer Dan Moldea, who is considering writing a book with Palfrey, he says she told him last year, I'm not going back to prison. I will commit suicide first. But Deborah Palfrey was nothing if not a contradiction. For example, last year, when one of her escorts, former University of Maryland professor Brandy Britton, killed herself after being arrested on prostitution charges, Palfrey said, quote, I guess I'm made of something that Brandy Britton was not made of. And in mid-March, before her conviction for money laundering and racketeering in connection with the high-profile escort service she ran catering to Washington's movers and shakers, including Senator David Vitter, Deborah was asked by syndicated radio host Alec Jones if she was planning on committing suicide. No, I'm not planning to commit suicide. I'm planning to go into court on April 7th and I plan on exposing the government in ways that, uh, you know, I do not think they want me to expose them. Joining me now from Austin, Texas, the well-known radio host himself, the conspiracy theorist and documentary filmmaker Alex Jones. Alex interviewed uh, Deborah Palfrey in March of this year when she told him what you just heard, that she would never commit suicide. So, Alex, uh, welcome. What do you think? Uh, do you believe this to be as the authorities say it is? Geraldo, first off, thanks for having me on. Uh, she was a very nice lady, uh, very genteel. There's no doubt in my mind that she was murdered. Uh, let me just go through some of the basic evidence. She told me repeatedly on my radio show, and those interviews are posted at Infowars.com in full, that she would never kill herself, that she wasn't planning to kill herself. I pressed her during breaks in front of the board ops. I said, listen, this is dangerous. You've got to say who these people were. Uh, you know, do you know? And she said, well, I'm not going to say. I just want this all to end. And I said, you've got to say. Uh, who it was or you're not safe. She said, listen, I'll never kill myself. If they claim that, I was murdered. So we have a tape of her saying she wouldn't commit suicide. Now, NBC in Florida, where she had a condo, is reporting that one of her friends, who was the manager of the high-rise condos, and he's on tape saying two days before she was killed, before she died, she left to her mother's and said, look, I'm being followed. I think there's a contract out on me. I'm not going to kill myself. This is on tape. Then you look at Brandy Britton. She was facing six months in jail last year, shot her mouth off, Ms. Palfrey said, the D.C. madam said, and said, I'm going to talk about who my Johns are. This is hypocritical. She was a professor. You know, she had a psychology degree. She was saying, this is hypocritical. I'm going to tell who my Johns were, and then she hangs herself. Number one, Geraldo, you've covered a lot of criminology. You know, women don't normally hang themselves. First one of her True. girls True. kills herself. Now she kills pills. herself. They take pills. Uh, Mm -hmm. Exactly. And on top of it, her, in fact, 90% of women take pills. That's the way they do it. Now, now, men shoot themselves and hang themselves. Now, on top of it, her mother said she was happy, saying she was going to fight it. Uh, Alex, let me take a break. Stand by right there. I have uh, Judge Pirro and Kim Guilfoyle also right back. Back live just a second before I uh, continue our discussion on the death of uh, Deborah Jean Palfrey, the so-called D.C. madam who... Uh, the authorities say committed suicide, but some have doubts. Uh, Alex Jones, the uh, popular radio host uh, who interviewed uh, Deborah Jean Palfrey, uh, had uh, been saying just before the, uh, the commercial break that uh, she, the D.C. madam, was a happy person. Why don't you finish that thought, Alex, and I'll get on to our other guests. 
Well, Geraldo, it's just that she told her mother, she told the person that managed the condos where she lived and she was friends with, everybody, uh, that she was going to go on and going to fight. Uh, others that uh, knew her said that they, she was going to write a book when she got out uh, in about uh, six to seven uh, months. Could have been as many as 70 months, but certainly not 50 years, as some were saying. And you have two women hanging themselves I mean, this is ridiculous with these uh, supposed, uh, you know, very wealthy, very powerful uh, Johns. I think this is, quote, taking out the garbage, somebody trying to get rid of evidence. I, I hear you. Rid, I hear you. Uh, and, you know, of an election year problem. Okay, Alex Jones, let's, uh, uh, Alex has a reputation sometimes of being, uh, you know, uh, uh, flamboyant in his opinions, let's say. Uh, I don't know that to be the case about you at all, uh, Judge Jimmy <laughs> Pirro or Kimberly Guilfoyle. Uh, what do you say, Judge? Well, you know, I had the opportunity, Geraldo, to interview Deborah Jean about a year ago, and I talked to her about Brandy Britton and her suicide. And what she said to me is, they don't just come and get you, they terrorize you. And But she made it very clear that she was not made of that. And I agree with you, Alex. Not made of that means she was not she suicidal. She was not suicidal. Right. Mm -hmm. She was a woman who had a very strong core. She was a fighter from the get-go. And one of the things Tough she said nails. to me, Geraldo, was that, look, this isn't about madams. This isn't about prostitution. This is about me. Suggesting that there was no government program to take down prostitutes. There was a program she believed mm -hmm. to take her down. Think about it. You've got a top State Department official. You've got a military strategist, a United States senator. You've got all of these individuals, lobbyists, paying for prostitutes. At the same time, you've got the head of the Maryland State Police who's being indicted and convicted for using the Executive Protection Unit to move the prostitutes around. You've got a federal prosecutor at that time who was murdered and who yet his case is unsolved. You've got all kinds yes. of corruption going Jonathan on. Luna. It's mm -hmm. Jonathan Luna. And indeed, I have the book, The Midnight Ride of Jonathan Luna, for anyone interested. Everything raises a doubt. Kimberly Guilfoyle, yes, as, a, of the lineup. as a former prosecutor, right away when I heard that this was an apparent suicide, I couldn't believe it. I was doubtful from the get-go. If I was a prosecutor on this case, I would make sure and investigate it very thoroughly. I think it's far too coincidental that the two women involved in this would both hang themselves. Right there, I think it gives it. cause for Why suspicion. Why is the Justice Department sealing the names of the Johns when they could very easily be indicting them right. as they well, that, let, me start, let me start conspiracy. this way. Uh, Alex, yeah. I want to thank you because you really have uh, shined some important light on this case. I just want to say one thing here. I call on Governor Charlie Crist, who's a great guy, an honest guy, a straight shooter, to have his attorney general investigate the apparent suicide of Deborah Jean Palfrey because if these three people are all agreed, and I tend to agree with them, this is too perfect, this mm -hmm. is too stinky to pass this stink There's test. more. Well, Alex, really you've got to tell me another time because i got a million things to talk about on the thing. show. But she was paid up six months. She wanted to make sure that her... Good point. Her All right. Excellent All right. point. Investigate and this. It does not yeah. appear as if Prison it is likely that she committed suicide. And she served Alex, time before. And she served she time did before. Okay, you two, before, right? you two stick around. I'm going to move on.